everyone, it's Nick here, and it's nice to be back. I have a game for you guys today. This is my first Color Dream slash Wisdom Tree game that I've gotten in the box. Um, that game is Exodus, Journey to the Promised Land. Uh, this game was developed by Color Dreams and published by Wisdom Tree, although they're exactly the same company. Now on the back it says, a great Bible study tool. I know you can't really read that, but we'll see if that's true. Um, and then the manual is kind of funny looking here, like uh, got your instruction manual here. Um, and there's like they're both sides. They're double. It's a double-sided manual. I mean, look at this, man. Oh my God, it's pretty freaking huge. Um, there's both different stuff on the on both sides. Uh, like um, here's the other side, and I can't really see it. I'm sorry about that. Okay. All right, so right now it's working around the lockout ship, whatever. Let's get into the game. It's not one of those games that have like different version numbers and stuff. So, um, um, so there you go, there's all the power ups and stuff. So, um, let's start. Speak word of God, really. So that's what the, whatever, never mind. So, the W's are words of God, really, huh? Now, like I said, the back of the box has a great Bible study tool, but was this really what happened in the Bible? Well, after the level, you'll see one of the like major differences between this and the game it rips off, or the games. Yeah, if you haven't noticed already, this game is a direct ripoff of Crystal Mines. It's the same exact game. Just different levels, different sprites, and different music, which actually sounds like crap. I try to defend bad game music, but this is truly crap. I, I no offense to the composer, but it's not all that good. All right, then you get that ear piercing sound. He collects stuff. These money bags. I, is this what Moses was doing in the Bible? I really don't think so. And I, I'll admit, I haven't read the Bible, and I consider myself a Christian, but. I don't believe this shit really happened in the Bible. Anyways, let's just move on here. I'm gonna kill this guy. Oh, yeah. And once again, when you shoot them once, they run around like they have to take a shit all of a sudden. I guess I guess Noah and that robot from Crystal Mines shoot their enemies so far up the ass that they just that it like like it like ruptures their bladder or something. They're gonna have turbo turds? I really don't know. Now, if you haven't seen the AVGN's review of the Bible games, he already covered this game, so I'm not gonna go too much into detail, like one of the quiz questions. So, like, when you just like Crystal Mines, you have to jump to the LSD portal in order to advance to the next level after you collect everything. So, um, Egyptians. This is the only difference. And, yeah, kill all babies. James already addressed it. I'm not gonna go over that. Um, they feared God. I cast them into the river, put them in an art, and then you get this little cutscene here. There's different ones each level, but anyways. So overall, I give uh, I would give under normal circumstances I would give Exodus Journey to the Promised Land a three out of five, but I give it a two because it's a direct ripoff of another game. Uh, the and the music sucks, and so I mean I I don't get this. Why? I mean I guess they did this for a quick dollar, but the only this game rip off Crystal Mines ripped off like three other games. It ripped off. Well, I don't know. There's Joshua, which is also a Wisdom Tree game. It's the same exact game as this and Crystal Mines. But if that's not enough, Crystal Mines also had a sequel for the Atari Lynx. So, I mean, that would be like if Zelda, like, there were like four different Zelda games that are both exactly the same. So anyways, uh, I bought this game in the box for 20 as I said before, but it, it's, I just do not recommend this game. If you have Crystal Mines, there's no, like, even if you're a collector, there's not really any reason to buy this game. You pretty much have, you know, you pretty much have it if you bought Crystal Mines, so. And grant, although you might want to get this if you see it, like, just the cartridge, because it might be less expensive than Crystal Mines, since it's, like, less rare, I think. But anyways, um, that's it for now. Thank you guys so much for watching, and more videos are on the way. Peace out.